Hello Rifters, Memorial Day weekend here in the US of A, sending lots of tender thoughts, condolences and well wishes to military, family and friends, hoping people always return home safe, sending my thoughts home as well to my military family, uh, especially my brother, so yeah, good things going up as I spend Memorial Day weekend doing something memorable as I bring you part 2 of the PTS 2.3 free to play video that I begun to update you on what's been going on and I couldn't do it any better than getting it up close and personal as I do so I've been here taking advantage, building monstrosities, shuffling dimensions moving things around and hauling it's hauling lots of stuff and did the achievements myself to see how it goes. So here we have it. Achievements. So excited. People are going to be all over these. People are going to gasp. Some are going to take it easy. But I know a few that are going to just get in there and do it. They are intense. They're full on. Lots of resources. But it's good to see achievements happen for dimensions. Like I just said. I've been uh, actually doing them to see what it's like and uh, to have a comment on things that I've actually tried. So we've got this Dimension Tycoon going on and we have all of these different things. There is a title as you can see, my title, the Landscaper which is 5,000 Dimension items in a friend's dimension. So yeah, you better have someone that loves you a long time to let you do that and uh, just mess around in their space to put things down, pick them up, put things down as I did. Thank you Greatus and thank you Mentrum for letting me do that. I also have this achievement guild that I made. Thank you Acor who helped me do that just for this. It's uh, got to have fun, you know, and find some balance. So that's what I did. Made this guild, bought all the guild things, bought all the things that I needed and shuffled over hours and hours to do this for the fun. So we have these big achievements. We have this title. We have little achievements too, like placing snow on Kestrel Cry's ravine. We have, you know, uh, 500 tree items, which was really nice to see before I saw the 5,000. I was chatting to Juicy B earlier last night, and I was like, oh, they don't seem too bad. Uh, scrolling down on your screen, it's OP Juicy B, and I see what you were exclaiming at. Um, we have a 10th dimension. I did do this one. Let me just have a quick look. And they are 10 dimensions on the one character. So I uh, went and got those and did that too. So there's a lot to think about and a lot of forethought. And unlike what I just did overnight, you're not meant to do them overnight like I just did, so, and I'm sure there's going to be some more coming, so I wouldn't get too uh, put out by it. They're meant to be fun achievements, some people do it full time, and some people do it uh, just on the side, so it's nice to be able to see our screens light up. I'm so excited, and yeah, I'll have a look, see what this prize is, and you can see it for the first time with me. Seeing something for the first time on PTS often means DCing, so I've done that a couple of times. And here we have Maliana Torsen. She's pretty cool. She's pretty chill. Having a bottle of wine there. There is a talking icon, but I can't seem to talk to her about anything. So maybe she does something in future reference. I'm hoping so, because I'd like to kick it back and have a vino. One of my favorite beverages. And uh, it would be good to be able to have this in like a guild dimension or a dimension to be able to have a wine, you know, get a little bit more classy over that mead, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with mead. And I am just so glad to see achievements come into the dimension uh, forte to open up the doors to all aspects of Rift before we get a new influx of a lot of people which have already begun. Thank you for uh, bringing us achievements, Tryon. Really appreciate. Look forward to jumping over to the store, showing you more of that later, guys, and some other things going on. It's all exciting. 
Hope you get up here on the PTS, take a look at all the other aspects too, as I uh, still run around and get used to Dendrum and take a good look at everything. It's a great weekend to make Memorial for sure. Thanks. How's it going, Rifters? It's evening time and I'm about to wrap this up, this update for 2.3 free to play and PTS. So much going on. I'm sitting in amongst the new furniture that's come up and a lot of stuff have come up on the store so I'm going to show you that real quick. I was going to do a lot of other things but uh, I've decided not to. That way you get some surprises, people get more involved in PTS and a lot of other things can occur. They're all changing so there was no point in going into a lot of things. I just thought it would be a lot better to quickly show the store. I'm not the mogul on this. I'm just going to point out a couple of things so there's some understanding. The difference between credits and loyalty. Credits are a spending currency. Once you have it, it disappears. The difference with loyalty is once you gain it, it keeps adding. So you get your 30,000, you get your rewards, you go up to the next tier, keeps accumulating. So you'll get up to 30,000, 40,000, 50, up to 90, you get your blue tier. If you happen, to have 1.2 million credits already, you get everything. So there you go, heading up that way. So don't confuse it if you can try uh, as you're looking at the rewards. I'm curious about a lot of the tiers. Regalos is right at the end, so I'm wondering. You can accumulate points through lots of different things, not just the time that you've spent in game. So there'll be tons more details out there on the forums, Rift Scene, Rift Junkies, all these places have this great stuff going on. Head there for it. For us at Dimension, I'm briefly showing the little kits you can get, mystery things that give you a chance to get a rare object that may be the way to go. Nothing to do with plat, all about credits. That way, uh, if you're thinking about your $15 a month, you might look at that to surprise yourself so things don't become too predictable. You also have options between spending plat and credit. Then you have the currencies in the game, i.e. Stroza Valley. So I noticed the other day there was credits for this, now it's gone. So I was like, damn, I thought I was going to get a chance to build an Estroza Estate Valley, but now I'm not. I am curious about that place because it's quite peculiar because of where you enter it. Building in it's really awkward, but I like the challenge. And one of the most prettiest things in it is actually on the other side of the boundary, under the bridge. If that boundary was pushed back a little bit so you could have that face, that would be so awesome. But yeah, that's my take. So a couple of days ago there was a way to buy this with credits, now there's not. So I wouldn't get too wrapped up in platinum prices right now. I wouldn't get too wrapped up. This is not final, the way that things are on here. They have updated the furniture, like I said just before, so you can have a look. I've got these all in Kiwi Dreams Dimension on the PTS for you to have a look. I don't have everything, because you too can use your imagination and get the things I don't have. I have one size and maybe a shape of everything. They've bought in new rocks today. Super super excited about those. In fact, I'll run around and have a look at a couple that I'm really uh, glad to see to add more depth, color, and inspiration. And that's with the crystals and the pale rock, which I'm really pleased about. I love this stuff uh, out in the Shura, and I'm glad to see it brought in. And the shapes that they've brought in with it too are going to be great to work with. And a lot of other new products have been bought in, especially in the rock department there, which is just great. I love building with organic shapes and textures, as well as my straight lines as well. But there's just a lot of uh, free flow that can come about. Please uh, take the time when you can to look at these items if you want to come on this friends list, like I mentioned on my last video here at uh, the Abandoned Temple. So you can move things, let me know. I do have a guild up here as well if you want to do the achievement and build in the guild dimension. If you want to use anything in the bank, which I don't have anything in right now, but I will have. Because I'll be up here for a fair bit uh, messing 
with new stuff as you do. So if you want to do that and join me up here and uh, me and Ruby, we would love to have you. The name is to make you smile. Nothing more, nothing less. Take it easy out there on one another. Help one another out. Come up with some great ideas. Work together. Lots of new people coming. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, seeing new creativity. Thanking everybody for everything that they do. Because you're the reason my game is so good. Thanks everybody. Look out for the 32 set artifacts. Three prizes at the end. Miss Orangey up here, very vocal, very happy, very uh, on pulse, may have them in their dimension, I think. Thanks for always checking in with me, Miss Orangey, and seeing what I'm up to, and if I want to see what you have, I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I'm always amid doing something. Thanks, guys. June 12th, 2.3. Rock on. Looking forward to it. Cheers.